A lot of fitness influencers will lie to you about how they got their abs, but not me. Using only one center block, I was able to chisel my physique using these exercises only. The seated head crusher, the through the legs I broke my dick twist, the over the shoulder ambulance call, uh, whatever this is, and just jump in place like a bitch. Yeah, that'll do. Just take a coat hanger and smash it over that shit. Break that bitch open. Break it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Welcome back to William Haynes TV. I'm your friendly neighborhood, William Haynes. Remember to hit my notification bell. I've had a lot of people in real life and online message me, Will, you're ripped, you're ripped. I'm like, not really. I just went from skinny to a little bit of definition. I don't know if there's another clip in my entire career that shows how much I've changed as a person. As what I want, I wish there was a way. Endearing. But I'm like, I want to get fit like him too. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to get buffer. Wrong. Do you want to be able to physically do? I things? want to be able to run really far, but I want to be the same as I always but been. Wrong. All I want is muscles now. It's taken over my life. I don't know what I've become, but this is who I am. I breathe for it. I'd sacrifice my own grandma if I thought it would give me an anime level power boost. If I showed a little skin, I'd be farther along in my career. All right. Yep, take that off. If there is one thing about me though that has stayed consistent is that I've always believed in living my life like a real life anime character. I gotta do everything I can to be the best me possible. I gotta fight every day until I'm as strong as I can be. Ah, sure, it's cool when anime characters defy all odds and defeat galactic level threats with planetary attacks and once in a million year transformations. But you know what makes those moments actually awesome? The training. <laughs> If there's one thing you take away from this video, it's loving the journey. I love training, especially in these days, because it's my only escape from the real world. A lot of people have been asking me lately what helped me to stay so focused on my fitness. And honestly, it started getting really serious a couple of months ago, I'd say in August, when I walked outside and the sky here in California was orange. I took that very seriously. If you just saw the photos on the social media, you'd be like, oh, it was probably a little orange. It was very orange. It was terrifying. It was like the bad guys won orange. The air quality was so bad, not only were we wearing masks because of the ongoing pandemic, we were also wearing it because of the fumes. I was terrified, so I started building my own gym garage. Every time a Saiyan warrior is defeated in battle, he comes back stronger. Funny that. See, I just read my official Saiyan handbook. That's the motto of my life. I'm really appreciative that so many people, you know, have told me that they look up to me and things like that. And I truly believe in my heart the reason that is, is because I am unafraid to fail. For all glorious fails. I see the benefit in trying your hardest <laughs> uh, and losing at many times and learning from it. People who are afraid to fail are honestly afraid that they don't know how to learn from their mistakes. So with that being said, <laughs> I haven't been inside of a gym this entire quarantine. I honestly don't have that much equipment, but I've still been able to get the gains I wanted. What changed? I started educating myself. So let's see, what do I have in my garage gym equipment? Four 10 pound weights, an Olympic bar, four more 10 pound weights, a pull-up bar, a 20 pound weighted vest. And if I put the four weights in this ghetto weighted vest, a 40 pound ghetto weighted vest. And that's all I got. Honestly, I love my equipment. That's all you need. You don't need all of that bing, bang, bing, bong. No, 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 no. You don't need it. When I started educating myself on how to work out properly instead of just trying to lift the heaviest weights possible, things started to change. I remember going in the gym, trying to stack as many weights as possible and trying to do as many reps as possible, no matter what the muscle was. Wrong! I probably get the most questions about my abs and how I got them. I hate to break it to you guys, but my ancestors were bred in this country for hundreds of years. And in order to survive, you had to look as fit as possible while eating almost nothing. So thanks, ancestors for your genetic traits i get no kick 
from champagne. Thanks for the abs. I hate to break it to y'all. I've always had abs, even as a teenager. I have always eaten almost no food. I survived 2016 on Soylent. That's about 50% of what I ate that year. I have never been an overeater. I'm always in a caloric deficit and it's kind of my hugest problem in my fitness life. If you have no abs showing, doing ab workouts isn't gonna help you much, no matter how much I lie about it on TikTok. Ladies, tell me the truth. Are you tired of your man not having six pack abs? Tell him all he needs to do is buy one of these things and then pull himself up if you seven times, you say, seven times, you, you hear really me? Baby, and then don't forget to hit I'm them really things the from the one, side. Always right. hit them from the side. Pedestal. You need that them uh, obliques or something, that, that stairway to heaven. That's time. all he needs to do. So everybody wants to know, how do you get abs? You're definitely going to want to be in a caloric deficit eating not enough calories and if you have them showing a little bit then you can start defining them giving them definition and that's pretty much what happened to me yeah i've kind of always had abs but once i got into my mid-20s i actually started forming a baby gut so i realized i need to start training my abs Bose really would think i would allow a pandemic to stop me from reaching my final form you want a big booty you want a fat ass cock then train, train, and train some more. People really started mentioning my abs once I started training them constantly. I train my abs all the time. That's all I be in there doing. I be beating up my abs like they stole something. Also, I never do any crunches or sit-ups. I don't like those exercises. They don't feel like they're doing anything and they make me dizzy. Some people say they never train their abs but still get them from other workouts, but I train my abs daily. Whenever I work out, no matter what the body part I'm focusing on that day, I make sure to add in some ab work. Your abs are actually capable of taking so much more work than other parts of your body. They're made for high intensity. Also, I make sure I breathe a whole bunch while I'm working on them. You can't hear that in my Instagram story because I'd be playing I-69 over it, but I'd be... For me, the hardest part of my abs has always been the bottom part. Top part, always there. Always being my friend. Bottom part, if I'm not eating right, bottom part's gonna let everybody know. And aside from all of this, let me tell you the most important thing. Dieting, monitoring what you eat. I know what you're thinking. Will, you're skinnier than a toothpick's toothpick. What do you mean diet? Yeah, I pretty much never ate anything before I got into fitness, but I did eat a lot of bad things. I love Taco Bell. I love In-N-Out, but we've had to part ways for several months. Now I eat rice, chicken, and assorted vegetables, meatballs, sweet potatoes, but not the kind with all the sugar and cinnamon and butter, you know, just like, you just eat it like that, but it's still actually really good that way, so I don't know why I'm complaining. <laughs> Honestly, nutrition is just as important as the workout. In my opinion, cleaning out my diet is what actually caused my body to grow. For those of you who are curious as to what it is I eat, and I'm lucky enough to have the best sponsor in the world, Flex Pro Meals. Like, yeah, this is my sponsor, but I've kind of been living off of their food for months, and it's actually really helped me out in real life. I'm completely serious when I say I owe a huge portion of my physique to Flex Pro Meals. They're currently about 75% of what I eat. They have amazing stuff like their meatballs, the enchiladas. It's all so good. I'm terrible at cooking, so it really doesn't get any better than it is the way they do it. They just mail it to your front door, you put it in your freezer, and then you heat it up for a couple of minutes, and then you eat it. It's amazing, and it's healthy food. Yeah, they kind of saved my life. I don't know what I would be eating it. I, I, I would, I guess I would learn how to cook, but I like this way better though. Go ahead and use my coupon code WH2020 if you want to eat how I eat. So anyway, you probably also want to know what exercises I actually do in the gym. I mean, my garage. I do squats. I do deadlifts, shoulder presses, weighted pull-ups, weighted windshield wipers, shrugs, rows, all the basic gym guy stuff. I try to do a healthy mixture of both weightlifting and calisthenics because they both help muscles grow. 
but you just look so damn cool doing calisthenics. You look like a damn anime character. Which brings me to my next point, what not to do. Educating myself on what each muscle needs to grow has made the biggest difference for me. I used to do everything on a max set of reps, no matter what the muscle was or exercise. That was killing my gains. I used to think that diet wasn't that important. I was wrong. The food is everything. I also used to push myself as hard as I could and then still eat fast food right after a workout thinking it would just, you know, cancel itself out. And I was right, it did. I experienced zero growth and was working so hard. I was working out hard for months and my body was staying relatively the same. I'm so proud to say I haven't had Taco Bell, my personal weakness, in months. Can you imagine a world where it was normal to try to do everything you can to be as healthy as possible? we'd be in the Star Trek future. I've had a lot of people write me online like thinking that I like did it overnight, but this actually took me months to start to show any results at all. What I've had to learn is, you know, no pain, no gain, and the beef gordita keeps the six pack away. If you're struggling to find the motivation to regularly stay consistent with your fitness, just know that 100% of the time you put into the gym, into fitness, you will get back in a healthier life. I feel great kind of all of the time physically despite what's going on in the world in my life. It's good to just feel good living in my own body. I used to be really, really depressed. Like that is who I was as a person. I wish I could go back in time and tell myself to work on your abs. When you're feeling all of that physical pain, all that soreness, it's hard to focus on the emotional pain. And that's why the fitness community is insane. It's like some of y'all are actually just depressed. Uh, like there's a lot of self-hate going on in here. So you got to find that healthy <laughs> medium, find that healthy medium, find the joy in loving yourself and who you are and doing everything you can to improve. And that's why it's anime. Thanks for watching today's video. I'm William Haynes. Remember to hit my notification bell. Uh, listen to my new song, FaceTime, on my new Spotify page. Love yourself. Love you. Love the people around you. Just keep it real. They be so mad at you for telling the truth. Mm. If you're jealous, you should mind your business. I'm that nigga with a mind and vision. Everybody trying to find a weakness. Cause everything I got, yeah, I go get it.